Hello there, hello there. Thank you for tuning in to this YouTube channel. I am so glad that you have decided to watch episode two of The Real Christmas. Those who take care and look for the prison inmates. In episode one, we met Chris, my brother, the director and founder of Chris Harvey Home. And we met him in his graduation in the theological training and counseling. And we were very excited and thrilled to see his commitment to education. In episode one, we also learned of several opportunities that we can give towards Chris. And today, I want to introduce you to the real Christmas as the people, the people who support those who have visions for going to prison. You know, it is one thing to go to prison, it is another thing to go there physically. And for those, there are people whom God has been using over and over again to support the ministries that support the inmates. They themselves may not go, but they support those who go there. That is real Christmas. When you support somebody who is doing what you cannot do, you share in that blessing. And today I want to single out my own parents, Mr. Efanta Stagana Jungu, and my mother, Grace Wangeshi Stagana. These parents have given Chris a place to build a house for himself and his family, and through that house, he brings in those who have been rejected from their home, I mean from the prison, and they cannot be accepted in their home because they have stayed for too long. He gives them a place to stay. As I speak, Chris has people who have been completely been rejected. And I want to really thank my parents, Ephantus and Grace, for allowing their son to bring the people who have been rejected by the society and they still accept him. That is real Christmas. My parents may never go to preach in prison. They may never go to give things, in, uh, to do ministry in prison, but they have a great share in heaven. They have great share in the ministry and the blessing of Christ because of giving love to build a place. I want to introduce you to Christ's family. His wife Eunice, his daughter Grace, his uh, other daughter Wajiko, his son Tagana, his son Gerard, his son Wachira. This, uh, this is a family that uh, are living together with, uh, with the inmates, people who have actually been in prison, people who have been rejected by others. And I want to congratulate them. Now anybody, anybody anywhere who is supporting prison ministry, you may never be going there yourself, but you support it. Congratulations, that's what Leo Christmas is. Jesus said, I was in prison. You never came to see me. And imagine when Jesus is talking about that, he's talking about a criteria of selecting people who are getting into his kingdom. And, and I get amazed that even prison ministry is part of the criteria that Jesus used to determine who is going to sit on the left, who is going to sit on the right, who is going to enter the kingdom. So this is so important. And you know, you can have real Christmas by simply saying, I want to support Chris, have a home. All I want to support any other ministry. You may not go there yourself. I do remember some of the things that the people in prison need. They need to be loved. Sometimes this love is just seen by people going there to visit them. They need to hear God's word. Sometimes they, they just enjoy and feel appreciated by the people who go to preach the gospel. These people need some small basic things like toothpaste, soap, tissue paper, sandals, uh, food. I mean, just these basic things, things that we can do. So when Jesus is saying, that uh, I was in prison and you never came to see me. I think this, uh, this is a condemnation or judgment that we can, we, can, we can escape easily. 
because it's a basic thing, it's not asking too much. And uh, if we cannot go to do those things ourselves, there are people like Chris who are willing to go. We can make this Christmas, little Christmas, by supporting and giving towards prison ministries. GOA has a very strong and vibrant ministries to prisons. We have had those opportunities and we are grateful to people like Beautiful Feet, Joy Griffin who has gone with us and we have built shelters in prison. We have even baptized people in prison. Um, and, I, and I am so grateful that by the grace of God, we have been able, these doors have opened for us. So the door is open. Will you join in? Leo Christmas, we can make a life and a difference in the people who are uh, in prison. I want to introduce you to very many friends and family members of Chris who came today to celebrate his graduation. That is Leo Christmas. I want to introduce you to Northwest, Northwest uh, Bible University, who has accepted people like Chris and others. And I'm so grateful for, for the graduation and the opportunity to study. He says he wants to study more, and he is asking, who will sponsor me for the masters? That can be Leo Christmas for you. That is episode two of Leo Christmas for ministries that goes to prison and supports prison ministries. In episode three, I will introduce you to pastors and bishops and the academia who are investing in the prison ministry by equipping people to be more effective. Don't miss episode three of the Little Christmas. God bless you. Just grab this opportunity and choose where you want to support in this uh, ministry. God bless you. That's Leo Christmas, episode two. And look forward to three. Thank you. <laughs>